Um, James, eight goals now, out in front as top scorer. After the season you've had, that must be a good feeling. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think just being back fit after the the injury at Bradford, um, it's great to be back and and performing and, and helping the team get get the vital wins that we need going on to this uh, final stage of the season. The manager just talked about how you perhaps need a couple of games to get back up and running every now and again. Do you feel you're back up to that level now? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think the first few after my injury I needed sort of weaning back in. Um, obviously not much training. Um, and then, you know, a couple of 60 minutes here and there. And then I think, you know, straight back into the stride now and hopefully kick on from there. From a striker's point of view, when you're on a really good run like you were before the injury, to get that news of, sorry, you're not going to play again for maybe three months, what is that like? How do you deal with that? Uh, I think it's tough because you want to help the team, uh, you know, in any way possible. But then, you know, you've got to, you f you flip your mindset towards right. How am I going to get back fit as quick as possible so I can get back? So I think you know you've got to sort of yeah you consult for a little bit to try and you know coping mechanisms or whatever. But I think you've just got to get your head around it and, and crack on from there. And what were the club like during that spell while you were out? Who was kind of helping you, supporting you, and, and keeping talking to you? Um, I think. Pretty much everyone. Everyone was asking, even the boy up to the boys texting, saying, "How are you doing? If, if I've had a few days off or, or whatever." Obviously, I had I had surgery, so um, I had I had a week off, and the boys were, you know, asking me how I was. Uh, physios were brilliant. Um, manager as well texting me, seeing seeing how I was. So, yeah, it was great. Um, just to to feel wanted at that point. Obviously, I, I wasn't I wouldn't say like no use to anyone, mm. but you know, I was. Um, just in the sidelines then and, and trying to get back fit but it was it was nice to see everyone sort of asking how I was and that was a big confidence booster for me. Is that a big thing just kind of in general for you you know you've had a lot of clubs at a relatively young age to feel wanted somewhere like here it, how much of a difference does that make to you personally? Yeah it's certainly a different feeling this year I think other clubs I've been it's been maybe someone else in the limelight and you know I've, I've sort of taken a back seat and not or not of my own accord but sort of in again in the sidelines and not you know it's not essential that I'm back fit but I think I feel that here so um, if I can if I can get back fit as, far, as quick as possible with the help that the club has got it's um, a big plus and obviously I've done that and I'm looking to kick on. As a striker though goals are the, the currency aren't they and to get that first one again was that again kind of a big psychological thing to get your first goal after being injured? I think so, um, especially going into the next few games now. Um, it's good to get that momentum going. I think obviously the team have, have done really well the past few games. I think we're unbeaten in four now, I think, um, with a good a good few weeks behind us. So I think, yeah, we've, we've just got to kick on now and hopefully I can do my part going forward. A lot of water under the bridge since you'd last played as well. You know, the team were up and around the automatic promotion, but through not their own fault, they've mm. ended up outside now. The mood amongst the players, what's that like? Is there a sense now that you're chasing and you're building momentum? Um, I think so. I think we try not to look too far ahead. Um, we just go game to game. But um, I think, especially off the back of the you know, the last few performances, I think we're doing really well and we managed to score score some goals, which I think we've struggled with for the past few weeks, um, you know, with the 1-0s, 1-1s sort of thing. So it's good to get you know, multiple goals um, to, to help us going forward and that does great confidence for for everyone around the building really. And again, when you got injured and then they went through a period where there were no strikers at all, yeah. now everybody seems to be fit again at the same time. So that competition that was there at the start of the year mm. looks like it's it's back again. How does that play into into getting where you want to be? Well, I think the versatility of the squad's brilliant. Uh, the manager's brought in you know some great players um, and like you say, everyone's back fit now and, and we're all fighting for competition to, to keep the shirt or you know to, to get someone else's shirt to to try and push forward, so I think yeah, that it's a healthy competition and uh, it's a good, it's a good headache to give the manager, I suppose. And this weekend has got all the hallmarks of a really good game because if you can beat a side that's up in the automatic promotion places, kind of resends out that message that Port Vale are going for this. Yeah, exactly. Um, I think you know they're doing quite well. They're I think the third now after the after the game in midweek, um, and you know if we can sort of gain ground on them. And obviously we have got games in hand as well, so I think we can we can make a really good few games going forward, and uh, hopefully 
get, get up there towards the end. And you as a player with the pedigree that you've got as well, do you like those kind of big game atmospheres where you where there's lots on the line? I do, I think everyone thrives off that if you know, if you if you sort of crumbling under that I think it's it's not a great sign. I think everyone looks forward to it and and uh, you know, looks forward to the games um, coming forward. Uh, and like I say, we've got what twenty twenty games left or something like that. So it's a really important part of the season, um, and hopefully we can can kick on from here.